Hi, thanks for doing this. Hi, it was no worries. All right, so what's your name? Are you completing VCE or VCAL? And what do you want to do when you leave school? So my name's Drew Dodson, I'm doing VCE. And I keep changing my mind about what I want to do after school, but I'm looking in the arts part, so mo mostly film production. Right, cool. What subjects are you doing and why did you choose these subjects? So I'm doing English, further maths, psychology, drama and media. And I'm doing these subjects because I enjoy them. My teachers at my school say you should do subjects you like because you're more likely to do better in them. 100%. All right, what influenced your choices on selecting these subjects? So it was based on just what I love doing and what I wanted to learn more about. So I did enjoy drama and media, but I also found the human mind fascinating. So I decided to do psychology as well. Cool. All right, what was your favorite subject in year 10? Uh, it, it would have to be media. Yeah. I had an amazing team. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. All right, what preconceived ideas did you have about VCE? That it was the hardest thing you would ever do. Yeah. And I know year 12s were these really mature and smart people who have their entire lives figured out. And is and that I what you feel I like it is? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is one characteristic you think a senior school student should have? Um, resilience. It's yeah. a really stressful year and you do get a big workload. So you just have to have, I know, the resilience and the strength to really push through it. Yeah, cool. All right, what is one thing you would have told your year nine or ten self in regards to your schooling? Figure out what is important in the long run. I know yeah. when I was young, I was quite short-sighted like the drama I was having my friend at that moment and my year nine spelling test with the most important things going on it will change the shape of my entire life it's like just focus on what's really important for your future like in the long run and those little dramas those little issues will eventually not that matter that much yeah cool all right how much time do you spend doing homework uh, um average five hours maybe a night. I always do. Yeah, there's um because of drama and media, you do projects over the entire semester, so there's always work to do. Yeah, and that's then a lot. um, yeah. <laughs> and what about school holidays? Do you do lots of homework on the school holidays, even without classes? Yeah, I do find the teachers do pile them on, and I kind of bit bad of pushing English aside to last minute. Yeah. So I spent most of the days reading the English book because I sort of should have done it over the summer. <laughs> <laughs> How do you prepare for assessments? Practice quizzes all the time, practice sacks, practice questions. Um, and then if I don't understand something completely, I find other people to explain it to me. So YouTube or Ed Rollo, yeah. I use all the for study. Okay, cool. All right, what is the biggest challenge about VCE and have you had to make any um, sacrifices in order to do well? Uh, challenge, um, there's always work to be done. Like I just don't really feel like you get much of that break. Yeah. And especially with sacrifices wise, well, COVID kind of got rid of <laughs> the things I was going to sacrifice anyway, but like just the extra quicker activities and stuff because your yeah. schooling's put first in front of everything. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Appreciate your no time. No worries. <laughs>